I'm just chunking and winding, and that's the beauty of swim baits, you know, especially these BBZs and uh, any swim bait, you know, any bait is, you can still go down the, the shoreline and fish them and watch what's going on, see where these fish are, are moving and how they're positioned and everything else. Where I take it to that next level is when I come up to areas, and we'll, we'll come up to an area like we're going to fish up around the stock or something. When I start getting into key structure elements, um, points, tips of the humps, um, creek channel edges, walls, that's where the precision on throwing a swim bait really pays big, big dividends. Um, if you had this corner pocket on this dock, this L shape, a lot of times, you know, you can throw in that corner and you could pull a fish out really easy. But it's really hard to be able to lay a bait right into the corner, mend your line, or use your boat to help you to get that bait offside the, uh, the flotations of these docks, get it down about a foot underneath them. So now the bait opens up, you know, the fish can see it at a greater distance and run the seam of that dock and that's the difference is where those fish are going to be able to come out and, and ambush eat against their dinner plate you'll have fish in open water run in and hit it against this side and every one of these flotations you see on these docks you know you got funnels you got you got corners on openings and closing opening and closing you know you could hit four or five strike zones with one cast if it's placed property properly um, but it's just hard especially with an open hook you know if you had a bait that didn't have a uh, um, hook, open hook on it, man, you could skip it underneath the dock and you know you can get way back in there. But with swim baits, it's a little bit different. But the neat thing is, it's drawing power. I can be a little bit off, um, but still try to get. I got a cable right here, that's why I have a bad angle on this. But it's just getting in these other places and trying to make a line where a fish can actually eat up against it. If uh, Terry turns around and I'll just give an example. We won't catch a fish. I'll just give an example. Right here on this little platform, if you could throw on there, Terry. Pitching or anything, we got multiple corners. So if I threw this bait out here and landed it by this dock, right when you get up to this corner right here, right when that bait hits it, you do a directional change. That's what bait fish do anyways. That's, that right there is what a shad or a blueback here, and they're, they're going to go down the side of that, that dock that flotation right there and when they hit those corners and I'll throw out they're gonna hit the corners you're gonna watch this in real life you bring your bait up they're gonna swim like this they're gonna come up right to the dock and right when they hit the dock they're gonna do this and they're gonna flare and that is a directional change that's what I'm talking about when I and I explain that stuff and that's reality that's that's what the fish are used to seeing and that triggers the bite so if we had this one we would throw out here we hit this corner we turn around we we'd do a directional change pop it, we slow roll that bait down that edge, and then we'd come back here, and I mean, I could walk down the boat and turn around and pitch that bait down that side. You see how that bait's running that edge? That's what you want to do. That's the difference of proper placement with the swim bait. And when, the, when you're able to do that, when you're able to do that, that's, that's where a lot of the special stuff happens. That's, that's where you see bigger fish than you've ever seen on your body of water. Um, you notice more fish, you know, you could, you could be fishing this lake for a long time and you might not ever see or catch a seven or eight pound spotted bass. But just seeing this lake for a few hours today and uh, yesterday, I have a pretty good feeling that I, I can come up here, spend a little time, find the good, you know, structure cover elements. I mean, cover elements, my gosh, look at some of these docks here. You know that there's, abs there's probably lake record spots in this place. And if you took the time and fished a swim bait properly, and do directional directional changes at the right locations, man. You, you guys are lucky fishing back here. And the guys that are not throwing swim baits and doing this kind of technique, you guys are missing out on a lot, a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun stuff. Vicious fishing, it's just what it says. It's fishing, vicious. It makes no difference what you're after. Yeah. <laughs> He's not giving up without a fight. He's got nature on his side. It's where his vicious streak comes from. You need a line just as vicious. He's going home to tell all his boys he had you beat before the game started. Get vicious. <laughs>